Welcome back to another Timing System Installation video by Cloys. I'm Cody Smith, and today we're in the Cloys Tech Lab demonstrating Timing System removal and installation in GM 1.4 liter turbo Gen 3 EcoFlex engines. This video will cover timing chain system removal and installation in various 2011 to 2021 GM vehicles, including Chevrolet Cruze, Sonic, Trax, Volt, Buick Encore, and Cadillac ELR. Note that this video will not cover the 2016 and newer 1.4 liter LE2 Ecotech engines used in some of those same applications. For our demonstration today, we're utilizing a Cloys 9-4311S timing kit, which contains the chain, chain guides, the chain tensioner, and the crankshaft sprocket. This kit is also available without the crankshaft sprocket by adding an X to the end of the part number. To confirm this kit and video are correct for your vehicle, and to check our current product offerings, including VVT components and kits, please visit our parts finder at chloes.com. To service the timing components in this engine, you'll need a special timing toolkit. The chains and sprockets are not marked, and the camshaft phasers and the camshaft sensor reluctors have no indexing features, so the special tools are a must on this project. The toolkit is available for most auto parts retailers and online vendors. CTA Tools offers the kit as a part number 1046, but many more economical options can be found online. You're looking for the timing toolkit that references 1 liter, 1.2 liter, and 1.4 liter GM engines. It should look like this one. The timing components can be serviced with the engine in the vehicle. Begin by removing the valve cover, then rotate the crankshaft until the small hole in the crankshaft pulley aligns to the mark on the front engine cover and the slots on the back of the camshafts are both horizontal and positioned above the surface of the cylinder head. If the crank marks are aligned, but the slots on the camshafts are positioned below the head surface, rotate the crankshaft one more revolution and check again. With the shafts in these positions, you are set at number one top dead center and ready to install the special tools to lock the shafts. Using a T55 Torx socket, remove the plug on the front left hand side of the engine at the bottom and insert the crankshaft locking pin securely, making sure the pin is fully inserted and the shaft is locked. Then install the camshaft locking plate on the back of the head, indexing both camshafts. If the tool will not insert, make small adjustments to the camshafts using the hex features. With the tools in place, you're now ready to remove the front engine cover. Start the timing system disassembly by deactivating the chain tensioner. The special toolkit should have come with two different tensioner fixing pins, Using the appropriate one, compress the tensioner using the tensioner arm and install the fixing pin. This isn't absolutely necessary, but it'll keep the tensioner from flying apart when it's removed. You can then remove the tensioner. Next, remove the upper time and chain guide, the left hand guide, and the tensioner guide. You can now remove the chain followed by the crankshaft sprocket. You're now ready to remove and replace the front engine cover gasket. Make sure to clean the surfaces thoroughly and apply gasket maker to the mating points of the cylinder head and block before the new gasket is installed. If you're not servicing the camshaft phasers, you can skip this step. If you are replacing the phasers, hold the camshafts using the hex features and remove the camshaft phaser bolts. These are torque to yield bolts and should not be reused. Remove and replace the phasers, reinstalling the camshaft sensor rings and hand tighten the new camshaft phaser bolts. The phasers and sensor rings do not have indexing features, so they should be free to rotate for now. You can now install the new crankshaft sprocket and chain. Next, install the tensioner shoe and tighten the bolt to 15 foot-pounds. Install the left-hand guide, making sure the chain falls between the raised edges of the guide surface. Tighten the bolts to 71 inch-pounds. Then install the tensioner, but do not pull the activation pin yet. Torque the bolts to 71 inch pounds. Next, you need to install the camshaft sprocket holding tool. Make sure the sliding tooth feature of the tool is loose. Position the tool between the camshaft phasers and index the teeth of the tool to the sprocket teeth. Once positioned correctly, tighten the attachment bolts. You can now activate the tensioner. Make sure the chain is tight on the left-hand side of the engine and between the camshafts. If slack is present, slightly nudge the camshaft phasers counterclockwise to shift the slack over. 
Now you need to clamp the intake phaser in place by tightening the bolt on the camshaft sprocket holding tool. The next step is installing the front engine cover without the VVT solenoids. Make sure the front cover and oil pan surfaces are clean. Apply some gasket maker to the corner mating points of the engine block and pan along the top of the oil pan and in the groove on the bottom of the front cover. Make sure not to apply too much gasket maker around the oil pump pickup feature. The smaller 6mm cover bolts torque to 71 inch pounds and the larger 10mm bolts torque to 26 foot pounds. With the front cover installed, you now need to properly position the camshaft sensor rings and install the camshaft sensor setting tool. Even if you did not break the camshaft phaser bolts loose, we recommend that you install the tool to ensure proper timing with the new components. Here are the positions where the camshaft sensor rings need to be. Position them as shown. Then install the camshaft sensor setting tool on the front of the engine cover. With the setting tool installed flush against the top of the cover and the features of the tool fully indexing the camshaft sensor rings, check for chain slack one more time along the left-hand side of the engine and between the camshafts. If the chain is tight, you're ready to torque the phaser attachment bolts. Make sure to use the hex features of the camshafts. The holding tools are not designed to hold the shafts during the torquing process. And starting with the intake phaser, torque the bolts to 37 foot-pounds plus an additional 60 degrees. If you did not service the phasers and the sensor setting tool does not properly index, you'll need to loosen the phaser bolts and properly position the sensor rings. With the phasers properly torqued, you can now remove the camshaft sensor setting tool and the intake phaser holding tool and replace it with the upper chain guide. The upper guide bolts torque to 71 inch pounds. Finally, remove the crankshaft locking pin and the camshaft locking plate. The plug for the crankshaft locking pin reinstalls to 37 foot-pounds. You're now ready to reinstall the valve covers and all of the front engine components. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact our tech line. And to stay up to date on all things Chloe's, including tech and product information and more videos like this one, please sign up for shopmasters at chloes.com.